Hello and welcome to this webinar with the topic LAN Commissioning WolfLink Interface Module. We would like to explain the LAN Commissioning of our WolfLink Interface Module step by step. These interface modules are necessary in order to integrate WOLF units in the WOLF SmartSet system. The WOLF SmartSet system is a system in which WOLF heating, ventilation and air handling system as well as CHPs can be integrated. The systems can be operated and monitored locally or via internet worldwide. For the integration, we need an interface module, the WolfLink Home or the WolfLink Pro. The operation, the programming and monitoring is possible via online SmartSet portal or via SmartSet app for smartphones, tablets or computers. Let's take a look to the scope of supply. The scope of supply of the WolfLink Home comprises one interface module, one installation and operating instruction, one connection cable, which is only necessary if the WolfLink Home is installed next to the HCM2 board, one network cable, three adhesive cable fasteners and the additional label. The WolfLink Pro scope of supply comprises one interface module, one installation and operating instruction, three cable strain reliefs, one USB cable and one USB power supply for 230 volts, one eBus connection cable and one network cable. Let's take a more detailed look to the WolfLink Home. The WolfLink Home is designed for the Wolf Control System 2, WRS2 and will be installed inside the unit. LEDs on the right hand bottom show the current operation status. On the left hand top is the plug in possibility of the connection cable to the heating unit. The grey cover should prevent damage to the board. The module has an access point. On the label you can find the material number, serial number, browser address line and one individual password. The WolfLink Pro is designed for the Wolf Control System WRS and Wolf Control System WRS2. Furthermore, the Link Pro offers a Modbus interface in addition. Due to this reason, Wolf Air Handling Ventilation and CHPs can be integrated into the Wolf SmartSet system. An access point is available here too. The label contains the material number, serial number, browser address line and an individual password. The LEDs show the current operation status here too. The WolfLink Pro is designed for an external assembly. On this slide you can see the meaning of the LEDs. Both WolfLink interface modules have three LEDs. The current operation status can be detected via installation instruction. The green LED is for the portal. The yellow one is for eBus and Modbus and the red one for WLAN. Depending on the flashing code, different meanings are possible. Let's take a look to the function of the button which is on the WolfLink interface module for WolfLink Home in the lower area, for WolfLink Pro after removing the front cover, the button is on the right hand side in the lower area of the board. The access point can be activated after short pressing of the button below one second manually. The access point will be active automatically in case of first operation or after module reset. The access point is not necessary for standard commissioning. That's the reason why we won't take a look at it during this webinar. The WPS function of WolfLink can be activated via pressing the button between 3 to 5 seconds. A reset can be done when the button will be pressed for more than 10 seconds. Please take care that in case of reset, the power supply has to be interrupted shortly after pressing the button for 10 seconds. As already mentioned, it, the WolfLink Home is designed for the Wolf Control Systems WRS2. Gas condensing boilers CGP2 in all variants, split heat pump BWL1S, 
modulating oil condensing boiler TOB and gas condensing boiler MGK2 are equipped with the Wolf control system WRS2. In these units, you can integrate the Wolflink Home. The Wolflink Pro can be used for the Wolf control system WRS and for the Wolf control system 2 WRS2. So it is possible to integrate older generations in the Wolf Smart system. For example, the two-step oil condensing boiler COB, gas condensing boiler MGK, monoblock heat pump BWL. If an I.O. module is installed in the TOB, a Wolflink Pro must be selected because the I.O. module needs the space for the Wolflink home. Air handling and ventilation units as well as combined heat and power units can be only integrated in the smart system via a Modbus interface. Due to these reasons, a Wolflink Pro is absolutely necessary. Let us install a Wolflink Home in a CGS2. With the operation switch, we can turn off the unit. We turn the control system casing to the side and open the flap for the interface module. The Wolflink Home will be clipped into the flap. Subsequently, we plug the connection cable between the heating unit and module. So the module can be supplied with power and an eBus connection can be generated. The connection cable is integrated in the control system casing for the gas condensing unit CGB2 in all variants and for the split heat pump serially. We connect the module and the router with the LAN cable and touch the power button again. The module is supplied with voltage. The yellow LED eBus starts to flash. As soon as the LED was lit constantly, the connection was successful. The flap can be closed now and the control system casing can be swung back. The module is installed. You can also mount the Wolflink Home in the electrical connection box next to the HCM2 board. You will need the included connection cable between HCM2 and Wolflink Home. Before we will start the commissioning, we will take a look at the installation of the Wolflink Pro. First of all, we will remove the torque screw at the casing. We open the front cover and install the Wolflink Pro at the wall. We establish the eBus connection between module and heating unit. We connect the module and the router with the LAN cable. The module will be supplied via a USB cable and the corresponding IC adapter with power. Now we can close the casing again. The module is installed. To complete the standard commissioning, the latest Wolf Smart Set app for the smartphone is required. The Wolf Smart Set app is available for download in the Google Play Store and App Store for free of charge. We download the latest Smart Set app on the smartphone and open it. At the bottom left hand corner, the system can be controlled and monitored local via the function Use Without Internet. Please take care that the smartphone is in the same WLAN network. To enable worldwide access to the system, we start the commissioning assistance in the app. We open the menu at the top left hand side and select the commissioning assistant. Wolflink appears. We press on selecting. Now we will be asked for the individual password. This can be seen on the Wolflink or on the additional label which is in the scope of supply. After entering the password we press the button for the internet connection. The Wolflink restarts. In the next step we get to the registration. 
If you already have a SmartSet account, please press here. In case you don't have a SmartSet account, please fill in the registration form, address, first name, name, email address and your personally chosen SmartSet account password. Please accept the terms of use, privacy notice and declaration of consent. Press register in the next step. In order to finish the registration, you have to fill in the confirmation code, the necessary code you will receive via email. Optionally, you can click the link in the email. After filling in the confirmation code, please press complete registration. The setting has been stored in your SmartSet account successfully. You can start the visualization now. After the commissioning assistant, the whole functionality of the SmartSet app is available worldwide. If several systems are assigned to your account, you can select the desired system in the system selection. Of course, you can also log in with your SmartSet access data in the online SmartSet portal and operate, program and monitor the system from the PC worldwide. Now we have reached the end of the webinar. A lot of fun with the Wolf SmartSet system and goodbye.